This was no ordinary machine. Hidden in the heart of New York, Nikola Tesla built a device so strange and powerful that it allegedly shook buildings to their core. People said it was an earthquake. Tesla said it was his invention. What started as a simple experiment with alternating current spiraled into something far more mysterious. An engine that thumped like a heartbeat, synchronized with the Earth itself. But was it truly a quake maker or just misunderstood science? This story isn't just about invention. It's about obsession, genius, and a quest to control the invisible forces beneath our feet. The pulse of a new era. In the late 19th century, cities buzzed with the electric promise of modern life. Street lamps, factories, and telegraphs demanded better power systems. Tesla, already known for pioneering alternating current, had a new idea. He envisioned a generator that didn't just rotate, it pulsed. But this wasn't just for the thrill of novelty. Tesla wanted something stable, something that wouldn't falter when steam pressure wavered or electric loads shifted. This led him to a reciprocating design, an engine that moved back and forth like a piston, rather than spinning endlessly like a wheel. It would become the foundation for his so-called earthquake machine. But at the time, it was just another spark in Tesla's ever-burning imagination. The world had no idea what was coming. Breathing life into coils. To understand Tesla's device, we need to understand motion, specifically how electricity is born from movement. Michael Faraday had already shown that pushing a coil through a magnetic field creates electricity. Tesla took this idea further. He replaced static magnets with powerful electromagnets, giving him more control. Now all he needed was motion. Not just any motion, precise, rhythmic, reliable motion. That's where the steam engine came in. He didn't use bulky cranks or complex valve systems. Instead, he modified the piston itself, turning it into a smart, self-guided valve. As steam poured in, it pushed the piston one way, then reversed to pull it back. Tesla had engineered a clean, oscillating beat, like a mechanical heartbeat. It was beautiful, brilliant, and dangerous. The secret of the air spring. Steam engines of the day were noisy, clunky, and inconsistent. Tesla saw this as a flaw to fix, not a feature to accept. He stripped away unnecessary parts, simplified the mechanics, and introduced something revolutionary, the air spring. Imagine a sealed cylinder with a plunger inside. As the plunger moves, it compresses air on one side. That compression pushes back like a coiled spring. This setup gave the piston a smooth bounce, much like a pendulum swinging back and forth. More importantly, the air spring brought consistency. No matter how much steam was fed into the engine, the frequency of the piston's movement remained the same. Tesla had built something no one else could, an engine that pulsed at a fixed rhythm, untouched by chaos around it. That rhythm would prove to be both a blessing and a curse. Chasing electrical perfection. Tesla's engine had found its rhythm, but that rhythm needed to be shared. He wanted to generate electricity with a frequency so steady it could revolutionize power grids. He connected his oscillator to a generator and for a moment, it worked beautifully. But the real world rarely cooperates with perfection. When the electrical load kicked in, something strange happened. The device started to resist itself. This was the armature reaction, the invisible hand pushing back against the machine. The current flowing through the system created its own magnetic field, which interfered with the piston's movement. The once steady rhythm began to falter. Tesla needed a fix. So he introduced variable capacitors to the circuit, tuning the system like a musician tuning a violin. It helped, but didn't solve everything. The machine was steady, but not unshakable. And shake it did. When the ground trembled, one day, deep in his New York laboratory, Tesla fired up the machine at full power. The floor began to tremble, screws loosened, glass cracked. People on the street felt it too. A minor quake? Perhaps. Tesla smiled and called it a success. But what really happened? The answer lies in a strange scientific phenomenon, resonance. 
Every structure on Earth, from a wine glass to a skyscraper, has a natural frequency, a rhythm at which it vibrates. When an external force matches that frequency, even tiny nudges can build into massive waves. It's like pushing a child on a swing. Get the timing right, and the swing goes higher and higher. Tesla's oscillator, tuned just right, may have hit his building's resonant frequency. The result? An artificial quake. Controlled chaos, born from a rhythmic pulse. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The resonance effect. It might sound like science fiction, but resonance is real and powerful. Break a wine glass with your voice and you're using resonance. Shake a building with a steam engine? The same principle applies. Tesla's oscillator was small, but if its vibrations lined up with the building's natural frequency, even that small engine could create large movements over time. Think of a marching army breaking stride on a bridge to avoid collapse. Tesla didn't just build a generator, he stumbled upon a vibration weapon, a device that could tap into the hidden rhythm of materials, stirring them from within. No explosions, no sound, just a silent, pulsing force. This discovery fascinated Tesla, not for destruction, but for communication, for understanding, for control. He began imagining devices that could transmit signals through the Earth itself, signals beneath our feet. Tesla's oscillator found a new purpose beyond electricity. He saw its potential in what he called telegiodynamics, the transmission of energy and messages through vibrations in the Earth. Imagine an earthquake, but controlled, directed, and encoded. Tesla envisioned a future where cities could be connected not by wires, but by the ground beneath their feet. A network of vibrations pulsing from one place to another. He believed these signals could pass through any medium, rock, water, or steel, and carry information across the globe. His machine, once meant to power homes, had become a possible foundation for global communication. This was Tesla's genius. He looked at the ordinary and saw the extraordinary. But while he dreamed of world-changing uses, others feared what the machine might unleash if misused. Genius in the shadows. Tesla's rivals dismissed his oscillator as a noisy gimmick. The media dubbed it the earthquake machine, more myth than mechanism. And indeed, it never replaced conventional generators. Rotary alternators, another Tesla invention, proved more practical, more reliable, and easier to control. They soon became the backbone of power stations. Tesla's oscillator, for all its elegance, was too complex and unpredictable for everyday use. But it lingered in memory, a symbol of unfulfilled potential, a glimpse at what might have been. It didn't fade because it failed. It endured because it dared. In many ways, it represented Tesla himself, brilliant, misunderstood, and years ahead of his time. Did it really happen? So did Tesla really cause an earthquake? The answer isn't simple. There are no seismic records to confirm it. But there are witness accounts. Lab assistants, neighbors, and reporters all claim to feel the tremors. Tesla himself described how he smashed the device with a hammer when the vibrations got out of control. He may have exaggerated, but not by much. The science behind his claim is solid. The oscillator was real, resonance is real, and the possibility, very real. Whether it shook New York or just a single building, the story endures because it captures something greater than fact. It reflects the incredible power of focused energy and the fine line between invention and catastrophe. Legacy of a Pulse Tesla's oscillator is no longer used in modern power systems, but its legacy lives on. It reminds us that technology is not just about solving problems, it's about exploring possibilities. Tesla didn't stop at function, he aimed for wonder. His machine didn't just generate current, it challenged the ground beneath our feet. And while rotary generators replace the oscillator, they still hold a special place in the story of innovation. Engineers study it, physicists marvel at it, and storytellers keep it alive. 
Because it wasn't just a machine, it was an idea. A heartbeat of metal and steam that dared to shake the earth. And in doing so, it reminded us that even the most brilliant minds sometimes blur the line between genius and madness. A machine reimagined. Modern engineers revisit Tesla's oscillator not for its power output, but for its physics. In schools and labs, it's used to demonstrate how mechanical resonance works. Artists, too, find inspiration in its poetic simplicity. A single piston, a chamber of air, a pulse that could sync with the heartbeat of buildings. Tesla didn't just build machines. He told stories with motion and energy. The oscillator may have vanished from power grids, but its rhythm echoes in unexpected places. In science fairs, in documentaries, in whispers of what if. Because some inventions never truly disappear, they just change form. Tesla's earthquake machine may never have leveled buildings or shattered cities, but it did shake the world in another way. It forced us to rethink what machines could do. Not just power light bulbs, but stir the Earth's bones. It whispered of hidden rhythms, of forces waiting to be harnessed. Tesla believed the world was full of secrets, and he dedicated his life to unlocking them. This machine, mysterious and misunderstood, was one such key. And though its sound has long gone silent, its echoes still ripple through history, reminding us that even small inventions can leave seismic legacies.